The Whiskey Brothers Podcast is intended for an adult listening audience. If you find yourself easily offended, I guarantee this will do it. They don't want no problems. Nah. From Houston, Texas. The Whiskey Brothers Podcast starts now. Welcome to episode 766 of the Whiskey Brothers Podcast. Many of these, Rob... And we are on our way towards our 11th Christmas show, the Whiskey Brothers Christmas Ball, December 22nd. That's at the Secret Group. We are going to have, man, it's an all-star dais. I, I don't even know how many people are on this show. Uh, I know Billy D. Washington confirmed. We were just talking about him. So many, I, literally everybody Jenny that's Johnson. anybody. Jenny, oh, yeah, she's coming in. Did she text? She texted she, me. Yeah. 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 Um, yep. So she's going to do it. We got to figure out who all, and then uh, so many locals that uh, I know. I don't even know if we've talked to you, but maybe. Uh, we're well, just putting everybody on the show. My people are very hard to get a hold of. Uh, Ra- Radu Bondar is back with us, uh, and Trey Tutson's here. You know you're here, Trey. Yeah, I'm yeah, I'm here. All right, we uh, Train so my people. something stupid will be said soon. Of course, <laughs> uh, privilege port. We always uh, so we we bring everybody on, and nine times out of ten, when we bring on a, a, another Houston comic. They they don't they aren't up to shit. Most of them foreigner. They're, no, we had <laughs> Grady, Grady's a regular. No, Grady's an immigrant. Uh, <laughs> no, Grady's just a poor person, but he's white. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. you're uh, you're you're one of the you're one of the guys that uh, we always talk about. You're always out and about, and you're working. You're doing stuff. You're also drinking good whiskey, man. Mm. Cheers. This oh, is amazing. Shit. What is this? Um, Rob, that's, Rob, that's we're gonna tell us. We're gonna oh, go yeah. courtesy Cheers. of Chuck Noseworthy. Cheers. What? Uh, that is the last man, little bit of. Uh, I, I hang mm. on to it for personal reasons. Uh, that, the JP Wise. 15. And it's good stuff. It doesn't it's sit so over there. It's so nice going it's down. It's incredible. Yeah. Wow. It's one of the best Canadians. Oh my God. Uh, it might be my favorite Canadian whiskey. Wow. Yeah. Canadian pigeon face. That's what's it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Listen, what Trey, you watch your mouth. This whis- whis- whiskey's that. It's fighting good. It's <laughs> right. It's you can get beat good. by an immigrant. Oh, Rod. Right. Fuck no, no. Trey would destroy me. Fuck no, I'm not losing. <laughs> yeah, but too. I got I got your back. So you think- <laughs> I'm not losing. <laughs> you think too. you slang mail without being tough? Man. <laughs> you ever seen Hamilton? Immigrants get the job done. What the fuck? Come on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you don't do no shit though, Rod. Do fucking he's malnutrition. Look at me. This motherfucker grew up eating borscht. Like you, that's yeah, there's no nutrients. Borscht. I think that's a Russian thing. What is borscht? Oh, well, it's, right. well, we we eat it too. You had it too. It's a uh, you know it's all Eastern Europe. I see. It's all just right. a it's a sour. Beet soup. Yeah. It's yeah, not great. They should have. Oh my God. Fuck you. It's amazing. Beet Sour soup? beet soup? Yeah. Yeah. What is wrong with you? That you sounds... were just recently there. You didn't have any? No. Oh my God. You got to have no, it. He don't eat Jews eat it go, cold? Man. Well, Jewish people, like, okay. if you go to Cat's Deli, I mean, I think they just they got rid said, of it. Remember, they, they got rid they, of it. We was going to eat the borscht. They yeah. ate, it comes cold. We eat it warm and sometimes with meat, but it's amazing. It's sour. It's purple. What makes it sour? Beets. Beets. The poverty. Beets. <laughs> 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 That's true. The soup knows. Like, wow, yeah. we do not have well, a lot of upward we, mobility. Yeah. We better sour up. Okay. <laughs> We're not turkey or gazpacho. We're real shitty soup over here. <laughs> sour. So. So the beet. It's, it's, uh, there's a fermenting that occurs that makes it sour, sort of like a kombucha. Uh huh. You know how that kind of has like yeah, a yeah, bit yeah, sour yeah. thing to it. And then the beets like around kimchi. the rest. Yeah, exactly. The beets but around the beets. rest of the. The beets aren't pickled, but there is a fermented borscht thing. The name borscht means fermented soup. Mm. Sounds. Oh, this sounds, sounds like sad soup. Yeah, this man. sounds. This sound. This might be one of the worst described. <laughs> I know. Every things, time, the, the, and this is you trying to make trying it sound so good. The problem with Eastern European food, every time you describe it, no matter how good it tastes, it sounds like what the Grinch eats. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, it all sounds like Klingon food. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> makes your heart small. It's <laughs> 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 oh Yeah, you gotta have rock teeth for this bad bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Would you grow up eating this garbage? And you, you know, half, half and half. Do you put beans in it? <laughs> <laughs> that is the most Texan shit to ever ask. That's the realest yeah. shit. Do though. you put beans in it? It's very half and half. Like yeah. my, my parents, they would send me to Romania for like two or three months yeah. at a time. I would eat a lot of this shit there. A lot of shit. That I was already so Americanized by the time I was like six or seven mm-hmm. that when certain dishes came out, it would offended me to the point I would cry. <laughs> Like there's a there's a this dish. doesn't come with a happy meal. There's a what the no, fuck? No. there's you, a dish called rechitur. It means cold ish. Cold ish. <laughs> That's what it translates to. Cold ish or cold okay. stuff. Cool. Right. Wow. Yeah. And what it is is it's chicken parts and vegetables suspended in gelatin. Chicken parts. Fucking. Yeah. So it'll terrible. be like you know chicken like like it's a, a broke down chicken nugget. It'll be like thigh or breast. So meat it's like or chickens in Jello suspended in Jello. In, like in, that fruit salad in non non sugary Jello. Yeah. And it's with cold. Like yeah, and it's cold. <laughs> with uh, this is the worst shit yeah. ever. Yeah, yeah. 
I this assume is, the chicken is and cooked. And that is like a special. Yeah, the chicken's boiled. It sounds oh, like God. A, oh, my God. This sounds like a Holocaust meal. <laughs> that, oh, they would be so lucky. You think they, yeah. They'd be <laughs> oh, they fed them. You know, that's going to be a great show on the Food Network. Hol- Holocaust <laughs> Kitchen. Holocaust Kitchen. Oh, Today we boil shoes. <laughs> Have you ever eaten shoe? My grandmother told me that my great grandfather died after boiling his belt to eat it when I was eight. Bullshit. And, yeah. In what? Uh, he was, was he in, he in some World terrible War shit? He was in World War Two. He was like fighting in that hoe. He and, got captured or, by the Russians, and she told me this when I was eight. And then she then she didn't understand why I didn't like coming back to her part of Romania. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. No. Oh, sorry. She told me. She goes. He boiled his belt, and then he didn't even eat it. He shared it. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> I was like, Nah. He was like, Give me death. Damn. Yeah. Pass I'll take on death. belt, dog. What? Do y'all season? Like, do when he season the belt? Like, Who I'm cares? just trying to figure. When it's at that point, when you're you can wrap it in bacon, bacon. bro. Yeah. Doesn't yeah. matter. So bro, I eat a bacon fucking belt. I will eat a bacon wrapped belt here at Privilege Pork. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, Trey, when it gets to Bacon one of the rap, belts, port. you don't think about taste anymore. You're just like, calories, get them in me. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it used to be leather. I mean, it still is leather. Yeah. It used to be part of a cow. Mm-hmm. So if I go over there, I got to eat that shit, right? No, uh, no nobody's no. selling boiled no, belts. No, I'm talking about the, the, the Russian, motherfucking belt. I'm talking about <laughs> oh, the cold shit. The cold shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, but chicken so, jello? Y'all got yeah. microwaves or y'all that poor? We got microwaves, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're not not they the old shit. They just shit. Some of them are like you like, yeah, like still electrocute like you. Like sometimes my grandma will put something in the microwave and she'll be like twenty minutes. I'm like no, <laughs> bitch, what are you doing? But then she's like, no, that's right. It takes <laughs> like twenty fucking minutes. It's basically one of those magnets they used to erase videotapes in the old days. <laughs> just put it in the machine and let it. <laughs> she goes, I like microwave, but it takes forty five minutes. An hour is so yeah. long <laughs> to boil water. <laughs> God. Yeah, they call micro the microwave the slow cooker. <laughs> Put it in the slow cooker. What the <laughs> fuck? Do you want me to cook it on stove or do we have time for microwave? <laughs> the funny part about Romania it's is... It's just a like, microwave sitting on a stove. <laughs> <laughs> Fired up the heat underneath. The funny part about Romania America. is... America! It's not like third world. It's just imagine America, but diminished it's, 20%. Yes, I, I was I was going to say it is far from how it's being no. described here. Why the least fuck? In my, no. no, this is a broke-ass place. Why y'all eating <laughs> shit cold? <laughs> Well, it's not cold chicken, fam. What is wrong with y'all? It's made warm first. It's not on a salad. That's the disrespectful part. It's made warm first and then it's coldened. (laughs) Cold. Oh my God. You gotta stop hanging around me. Colden is not a word. It sounds like a white quarterback from Katie. Welcome to Colden Chicken. Colden Chicken. Golden? No. Golden. Golden chicken. It was one pot. Now, not so much. <laughs> I tried to write it down. I can't even spell it. We've spell, got yeah. freeze up on fries. <laughs> it's, it's got two of We have French fried potatoes. They are not fried. Do you cold. Want, do you want Just know? cold potato. Do you cold know? chicken. Do you want to know one real fucked up thing that my dad told me today? Uh-oh. My dad. Oh, more is, fucked up oh than my, that recipe? Way more. Shit, this is recent. My dad told me today that he was fired from a job that he's had a long time. He's, yeah. oh, he's And he's a, was a really important person added to work for Transocean. Mm-hmm. And he told me, he's like, I had a premonition. I knew it was coming. I was fired today. And he goes, but I read my horoscope says it's my lucky day. <laughs> <laughs> and I was uh, like, what? And he goes, two horoscopes I checked. They both say. <laughs> oh, my God. You have some gypsy blood in you. <laughs> he just told me that like three hours ago. <laughs> Things are looking up. No, he was like, he was like, he was like. So you know, because you are lazy, you have no job. You're my insurance. You go to doctor this week, okay? (laughs) (laughs) So, is is he going back? Back to Romania? No. I just want to know. Well, we uh, can afford to leave again. He goes. Well, I have failed in America, so I'm (laughs) go back. (laughs) It's a. I I I went to the. I told you, I went to the hospital Mm -hmm. in. well, whatever city that was. Budapest. Mm. Uh, no, no, no. Caracol, maybe. Ooh, is that in um, Romania? He was in a, you were like in an army base town, I was right? on, a, yeah. The, well, I was uh, about 20 minutes from. Okay, yeah. Um, Probably close to the beach. Costanza. Yeah, what right on the Black like sea. out there? Yeah. That's the, like important to yo, me. Yo, everyone's gross. They don't fuck with deodorant, really. Like, rich people fuck with deodorant. Me and my family, we great. But the rest of them, ugh. They, them and the, sm- the stray dogs, they smell the same. That- <laughs> <Straight dog. laughs> Here's, no, I'm serious. When you get to Romania and you're sitting in customs waiting to get through into the actual country, you're like, oh, shit, does this, this part smell like shit? And you're like, no, this is welcome to Romania. <laughs> <laughs> Why buy towel? We have oh. dog to dry off with. <laughs> <laughs> what does you cheap Americans, you waste money. That's, that's, that's not untrue. Does that mean y'all airport stinks? Yes. It has a... 
Well, well in their uh, defense, every airport stinks. Yeah, I mean, yeah. No, it's Rob, just, it's full, just of, like, full of it's full of dirty travel. Went through hobbies. There's certain great. things that make the human body smell terrible, and one of them is alcohol. And the worse your country is, the higher the alcoholism rate is. <laughs> okay. And so uh, these these dudes are like drinking at you know one a.m. or sorry one p.m. Like from you know they're getting it going from lunch because their lives are Romanian. Yeah. So by the time yeah. you smell them at six, you're like, damn, dude. Like, <laughs> <this is insane. laughs> oh my god. So uh, Romanian pussy. Probably smells like borscht. They're, yes, I, very sour. The borscht bitches out They're there. They're absolutely beautiful, though. The oh, the am I, am who I, gives a fuck if they smell like goddamn. By the way, this whole thing started from a segue with Slade trying to show off the good parts of my background. I was, <laughs> 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 That's what it was. I was trying to get to what you do and who you are. I was trying to get to some credits, <laughs> and I'm like, you know what's fucked up about my origin? Yeah. <laughs> beats, <laughs> sour beats. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's uh, that my, was my rap name. Yeah, my, uh, sour beats. Sour beats. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, with a Z. So you, you, you. <laughs> we're not going to break just yet. I, I do want to know. You've you've been busy. I guess is my point. Yeah, this year is the first year I've I've had to be busy because of comedy. Usually I'm busy lying about comedy. <laughs> 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 but what have you been up to? Uh, honestly. Oh man. Um, this year, I saw I, I ended up uh, working for Nikki Glaser and writing for her on the roast Alec Baldwin. Yeah, I had nice. like a. a, a did you get a, did you get a couple of lines in? I did. Yeah, I got a. I kind of. It's a weird feeling getting a joke you wrote in a car. Uh-huh. Set on television. Uh, yes, know? it is. And uh, and th they break those things up into like I don't know how many people maybe actually watch it when it comes out, but they break those up into so much different little videos on Twitter and YouTube and Facebook, yeah. whatever, that you can really sit there a week and then a month later and be like, seventeen million people saw, uh -huh. twenty one million yeah. people saw, because they dad, just see dad, <laughs> and you just tag your dad and all of them, or whatever I did. Nice. Uh, but no, what was, was the a, line? Uh, there was a joke about uh, Jeff Ross. What can you even say? to this guy that he hasn't heard of these things before. Like, oh, I know. I, I respect you. Uh, <laughs> you look nice tonight. Here's your salad, sir. Those kind of things. Yeah. <laughs> Here's your salad. Yeah. Get I was nice. I was the writing assistant, and the way those things work is that, like, Comedy Central hires 10 writers, and then all the people on the dais are allowed to hire their own staff as well. Right. Nikki farmed out, like, 30 people. Wow. Nice. Like, an insane... And I had to go through all their shit and order their jokes and be Ugh. like, this one could be better person with a bunch of TV credits and a staff writing job. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, who am I sending to these two? Some schmuck in where? And yeah. like, she told people she, he lives in Austin. Yeah. She, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just like more respectful. That I lived in a real comedy town. Yeah. <laughs> wow. wow. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. That's cool. I'm gonna send this to who? Where? <laughs> it was great. It was a. Uh, it was a crazy fun time. Nice. I didn't realize. I mean, I, I'd grown up watching the roast, so I was like obsessed with the actual program itself. Right. I, I didn't know the taping was like one of the biggest nights in comedy because we don't have like a centralized award system or whatever. So there's mm -hmm. like people that like I was in a right? bathroom with Larry David, and I was like, oh, sh you're here? Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I <laughs> guess. I guess that is a who's who of yeah. the thing to show up for. And it's like it's one of those weird Hollywood things. I mean, where like, it's half Hollywood, half stand up. Though, so you kind of get the best of both worlds. Yeah, yeah. I didn't see like a ton, a ton of act. I saw some, some actors I recognized, but not to say they're not yeah, yeah. super mm -hmm. famous, but they're not like blockbuster guys. I saw like a, a lot of voice actors I recognize, but the thing is, everyone's dressed up and everyone's kind of in that same Hollywood tuck style thing. Mm -hmm. And then there's like seven people who are wearing like leather jackets or like a hoodie, and you're like, those guys are. They really, must be really famous. They're really important, <laughs> but then you don't like you don't recognize them. You're like, who's? You're like, oh, that's Barry Katz. He's dressed like a piece of shit. He does not <laughs> care at all. He's sitting next to like a beaut, like a you know perfect ten supermodel, right? Wearing forty thousand dollars worth of clothes. Uh and you're like, this guy, I, I thought he looks like he's in here to get warm. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and so that's a, that's a weird thing to take in. Like, yeah. Oh that's because you I, there is, there's famous and then there's or like successful and then there's fuck it successful. Yeah. yeah. And then there's also like comedy successful. <clears throat> there's people that you know that are there mm -hmm. that are like real headliners that are not, they're not famous enough to be on the roasts. Right. But they're there doing different like content for other people. There's maybe other Comedy Central shows they're doing stuff for. Right. NBC or whatever. They do like weird little things. You're like, R really? This one show we cut like this much promote. But mm. then you like, you realize the, the roasts are the longest running Comedy Central thing ever. Mm -hmm. No shit. The longest continuous thing they had. Yeah. 
and they didn't want to do it. They aired the first one because Jeff Ross, you know, it's like, hey, we do this Friars Club thing. It's it's kind of awesome. They did it, and it was one of their most. It was like who was the first? Rated. Who was the first? I don't remember. I oh. I, I know all of them. I want to say well, it was nineteen ninety six. So uh, shit, ninety six. Yeah. Oh my god! It wasn't Shatner. It was like older than that. Wow. You could probably yeah, look we'll, it up. Yeah, we'll look it up on the break here in a minute. Yeah. It's 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 the weirdest thing ever. You know, they're, they've 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 been hammy at times. They've been like mm-hmm. you know under punching. They've been like way over the top. But there's just this thing that everyone knows. They, they stick around. And at the end of the day, that's why I believe all this this feel good comedy shit eventually is. You know, it's it's it can only yell for so long before you're like, we really do like watching people get beat yeah. up in public. Yeah. <laughs> that's a come on now. You yeah. could you did, can did cancel you get, that all you want to, but we really you, do yeah. enjoy it. Yeah. Did, you get, did you get to meet Alec Baldwin? Uh, I did at the Soho House the after party for mm. like a, a second. Like what do you smell like? Second. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta take a break. We're coming right back on the Whiskey Brothers podcast. Are you new to the Whiskey Brothers? Then check out the legendary first 400 episodes. Access the archives at praisewhiskey.com. Welcome back to the Whiskey Brothers podcast. Trey, you you just got back. I'm gonna I'm gonna just ask uh, from El Paso, and that's why you're you're all up on your uh, Mexican smells and things, <laughs> things of that nature. But you you texted me. You believe in stars now. This is a big one. He does. He, right, uh, do. we, we know the moon is off limits. We I, know he doesn't believe in it. I no, saw no. stars for the first fucking time mm. ever. Mm-hmm. Are you like, processing that? Like very clear. I was taking left, a piss. He left light pollution for the first time in his life. I know yeah. exactly what happened. And I'm here. taking a piss on the side of the road, and I'm like, <laughs> I was screaming. I was like, bro, that's fucking, bro, just look at the stars. Like there's real, like they do exist. I've mm-hmm. never fucking. This is crazy, and uh, it was amazing. And then I saw so I text Slade. I was like, yo, man, I just seen stars for the first time. The universe is dope. And, uh, he, Slade's like, usually dudes don't and, send this. And, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he was like, hey, man, what you should do is you should go and, and just kind of sit outside and just and just really look at it, like really yeah. embrace it. And I was like, I did. I was taking a piss and I was able to see it all. Yeah. And I was like, it really it looks nice, but I still think the Northern Lights are white facts. <laughs> it's, wow. it, and he, he just, he slowly... Every time I think we've taken a step forward, mm-hmm. he just he he, it's not he real. It's jumps color. on the it's, slide. There's too many colors. Once you start adding, yeah, no, fuck no. The thing is, once you start seeing the world and you run out of shit to deny, <laughs> that's, kind that's of, when it's going to be really interesting. That's kind of, you to you. The entire world exists in a library. Like you've never been. The, fuck a library, it, <laughs> bro. <laughs> fuck just, library. I, I mean that. Like, and so there. Fuck library. Brand? Yes, Rob. You know that finally, place. Finally, somebody had the courage to say it. <laughs> uh, ben Franklin's like, what? Uh, it's the most pretentious place ever. Uh, uh, libraries? You're saying? Why are we quiet? Why do they make you be quiet? Because people are because reading. you know how no, hard it is. I, do you know how hard it is no, to learn anything? It's just homeless with, people sleeping with you next to me. So be quiet. No, but wake like, them. No, bro. But my thing is this: if someone handed me a book right now, I couldn't read it. Why? Because you're right next to me. I'm not, bro. I'm not disturbing you. If anything, I'll probably make the book more interesting. I'll have questions. <laughs> what and you shit. read? What you read? Hey, why are you reading? What? <laughs> I didn't think that he objected to the noise. I thought he just hated the collection of knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> that shit should no. be scattered. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's not that. It's just like it's pretend, like they make you behave in this weird. Like elitist way, it's like you fuck don't like this rules, place, bro. You Most of these books are old. I have an authority problem. <laughs> Most as Most well. of the books are old. Most of these books <laughs> are old. The fuck you say? So huh? why why we gotta act like it's so ceremonial and fucking like this religious kind of fucking behavior? This fuck is, that. Fuck you and your old ass books, bro. I don't want to. I don't want to sound like your dad, but this is a phase. <laughs> <laughs> And you can learn oh, more about it at your local library. Oh, I fucking always hated libraries. Like, you are, you are, that, that, they get at fucking, uh, you know. They get they're, one of, they're one of the most comfortable places in the world to me. I'm, yeah. I'm more comfortable yeah. in one than I am in a lot of places. At, dude, yeah, you know what it is? I, as a social person, as a creature of society, I enjoy the library. Because all the rules of society are going down in there at the same. First of all, shit is ordered in a specific Dewey Decimal system. Uh-huh. You have to act a certain way. 
the, the bitches are clothed, which I like. That's an Islamic thing, you know what I mean? So it's covered women. <laughs> it's everything. It's covered all of women. I don't. It's like, all of humanity. It is rules. like a little model Earth. Yes. Always in a library. Small fucking bold bitch authority. That's mm. what I don't mm. like. It's always some bold looking skinned <laughs> white woman. Boiled looking woman. Bold skinned white woman. Yeah, okay. And she's scrunched over and she's got all of the authority. I mean, they don't be like too rude, but like. She's I, I, lived a life, I Trey. But I don't like being quiet. In the don't, goddamn library. Don't, you don't like being quiet anywhere. I don't like being quiet in the library. I'm quiet in certain places. Where? I'm, I'm quiet in fast food restaurants. <laughs> Why? What? I am. Why, why I don't, there? I don't talk in, I'm I'm talk in a Whataburger. Why not? Because that number one means a lot to me. That's fair. Those books, maybe, they are somebody else's shit. They don't mean a bitch ass thing. That's why they're in there. <laughs> That's why they're in a free fucking place. Barnes and Noble, I'll shut the fuck up. <laughs> there's prices. So there's so some worth there. There's like some there's, value there. I like that there's fees for when shit is late. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice to me. Right? We should, we should be it's charging people for tardiness all the time. They so I don't want to sound like a racist. But <laughs> <laughs> is that why you don't like libraries? Because they, they charge late fees? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not keeping a book that long. I've never checked out a book. I just read the no, back and go, get, sounds interesting. You get kicked out before you ever make it I, to the I, counter? I, not, yeah, it's going to be $6 CPT. Been kicked out of several mm-hmm. libraries. No shit. No I've shit. been kicked yeah. out of a lot of fucking libraries. Wow. Because it's like, why, why can't Cause you? You're like Why this, I can't read out loud? You're this biblio anarchist. All of you, my, you, <sighs> all of my friends who hate the library, they all began to like the library at the same moment in their lives, and that is when they found puberty. That, no, it's when they found out the library rents shit that's more than books. Yes, <laughs> you can get movies, uh, games, yeah. DVDs. Games. Oh, yeah. Like some yes. of them. Yes. If you live in a nice enough neighborhood, like, you want to borrow a laptop for a little. <laughs> hey, they used to have Playboys back in the day. You uh-huh. could get the Playboys. Yeah, for but they were all, uh, but I think they were you were just at a place. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't think the city funded. Uh, yeah. uh, but they had it all. All the nips and pussies blocked out. They had it blacked out. <laughs> so wow. Like, 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 like that magazine had been through a Saudi airport. Yeah. <laughs> like, right. <laughs> Whose job was it at the library to depussify the Playboys? <laughs> the old fucking boiled woman. That's what, yeah. <laughs> oh, kid. another Playboy. <laughs> <laughs> He's in there with a Sharpie Magnum. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Killing dreams. Uh, I, I fucked with. Roosevelt. Look Killing man, dreams. Bitch. Yeah. Even the even the cartoon boobs on the on the joke page. Yeah. yeah. She yeah. even got those. Oh my God. Even the illustrated she nipples. She's got a white fucked up name like Etna or some shit like that. They <laughs> oh, always hell, have those. Etna. Etna. No, or fucking Maggie, or Helga. Deep. Yeah, shit like it's always a shit. It's, a, uh, it's the one that starts with a B. Chick nobody wanted to fuck with. I mean, they look better now. No, now it's just like librarians actually got a really sexy connotation to it. You know that, right? When yeah, you say true, she yeah. had the librarian look, you know exactly no what I mean. Why though? though? But when I say because it, it's that quiet shit. What is it conjure? Is that is, is, is it glasses is. and a ponytail? No, it's, it's just the subtlety. Every profession. Oh, As they have sexy nurse. No. Or sexy accountant. Okay, yeah, Fuck but here's, the, here's the thing, Rob. Here's the thing. Yeah, if, if, okay, if I'm describing this girl that I'm farmer. supposed to... Farmer. If I'm describing this girl that I'm supposed to go meet tomorrow and yeah. I go, yeah, she's got like that librarian look yeah. versus, yeah, she's got that accountant look. Which no. one? Which one of those? I could, a, se- a sexy accountant. I could picture it. But really? I didn't say sexy. I, well, I didn't like use this, the word you sexy. You like math-driven bitches? That's what you into? Hang on. I didn't use the word sexy. Women. I said she's got a librarian yeah. look to her. Okay. It gives okay. you a totally different vibe sure. than she's got an accountant yeah. no, look you to know her. No, what it is. Like Ma- it. Guys are just, we're attracted to when someone's takes control and is authoritative and is like shut right, up tell me shut to up, shut bitch. the fuck up yeah. yes nah, sounds like tell me to bitch. shut up I just no, thought last smelt was just that's, that's what it is was just 18 cents of bitch that's you, are, you want a you librarian like you enjoy it no when, I don't when women take control for a second even sometimes right if that librarian came over no! the counter and slapped you oh, once I, and said shut your fucking mouth I would choke that bitch right <laughs> on top of an encyclopedia Trey think about it <laughs> think about think about when you fucking Trey, uh-huh. think about, picture this. You're fucking your wife, right? You're giving it to her. No. Thanksgiving style. Why would bitch. I do that? His girlfriend. <laughs> sure. All right. You, your girlfriend's girlfriend. in the room taping you fuck your wife. How you guys normally <laughs> oh sex, <my> right? <laughs> so listen, and then your wife. And we do it on film. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, of course. It's expensive. And it's you loud. Guys, no, it helps. The, 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 oh, you like the clicking. My yeah, noises. You like that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Suppresses my noises. Yeah. <laughs> So okay, so you're fucking, and then you're so you're doing such a good job. Your wife starts going right there, Mm-mm. right there. I say, bitch, I know where I'm at. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need you telling me shit. Really, I don't know you deal with, but they don't. Don't. I, no, you don't like a little. 
No. Uh, uh, no. Dude, you got to give up some control, man. Your life will be so much nah, more bro, fun. Nah, bro, get the fuck on. It no. has to all go your <laughs> way the no. whole time from the beginning. No, it's not no like No suggestion. That. No. My no. way or the hymen. I'm a figure. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm a, I'm a, just, no, you can say that shit, but I'm not going to give you credit. I'm not going to be like, oh yeah, I'm going to be like, shut up. I know. No, but cause she's, when she's saying right there, it's not, it's not cause she's like, oh, you're doing such a good job. She's like, I know you have no idea what you're doing. So just don't move. Stay right, right you, there. You, you, you touched, you, brush, like you, you brushed it. Terrible. Yeah. I've never had anybody say right there. First of all. Oh, I, that's how bad of a job women you Women don't speak. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Oh, wow. You got a lot to learn, sir. You got married too soon. Ooh. Women don't speak when you fuck them well. <laughs> <laughs> They're just gasping for air. Ah, ah. <laughs> it's just yeah. It's I just got a question. It's just you're... wrestling noises. <laughs> mm. Like what the fuck? This gasping sounds like SmackDown. For... <laughs> gasping for air. <laughs> yeah, Trey. Dude, I'm telling you, the way you're fucking people is not good long term. Not... <laughs> Whatever you're doing no, to them, no, those, they, you're gonna end you... up with those same studies done they did on those NFL players where they didn't yeah. know at the time. Yeah. But this oh, can't be good 20 years CTE? from now. Yeah. You know, having sex with you gives people CTE. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> I'm suicidal. We didn't know what we was getting into. We were fucking trade for years. <laughs> <laughs> That's so fucking funny. <laughs> yeah, we knew how much money he was giving us, oh, but that true. don't matter. Moms it's are going to stop letting their true. kids fuck Trey. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's very true. <laughs> going to ruin the whole league. <laughs> 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 All right, good times, guys. Yeah. <laughs> um, you, yeah, I got to hang around more black people. That, <laughs> this is your takeaway from today? This is what I'm feeling like. Yeah, I got to get some more niggas in my life. <laughs> too many. You, you need that. I'm around too many white people. That's what I'm. And I like mm. it, but boy, I can't relate to y'all. <laughs> no shit. Yeah. Well, you also don't try. Uh, <laughs> not even. No, no I'm not going to try. If you, I got, no. Try the cold and I've chicken. Been, no. When you when you realize they brainwash you, you it's hard to trust. Like, bro, the way you cut your eyes at me, you don't trust me that much. What do you mean? I can tell. You You've be been talking. My, and then you look at me like, what is he going to do? Like, I can tell. I'm not going to hurt you. Well, that's because you don't believe in you stars. You think I train. You think I don't trust you? Trey, you, so I do. You are waiting on the moment to manipulate me. Okay, first of all, <laughs> damn. Trey Second of all, too, this is a Motown in the 1960s. Third of all, I've been pulled over in a car with you. <laughs> yeah. And took control and, and saved everybody say in the situation. And hey, you was top flight Jew when you did it. See? Yes. I got to give you and that. And you still I, don't trust him. Mm. <laughs> you still don't trust You still think when he gives you that bro hug, he's checking your pockets? Borschmail. Borschmail? Borschmail. <laughs> Trey, you called me when you were on mushrooms. Cause I knew. Okay, he called. Bro, that, he what called black everybody. friend I'm a call? <laughs> Damaris don't fuck with me like that. Sam don't call. <laughs> Get out my phone, so, Trey. You so, fucking just wait, hung so up on the me. record, you trust me more than black people because you've been <laughs> but you in don't, rehab. But you don't trust me at all. <laughs> Trey, you need therapy, son. <laughs> that man. I trust really you. Does. With, I trust you with drugs. I'm like, yeah, I'm fucked up. I need what I do right now. The he knows what to do. <laughs> <laughs> He's had to confess this shit to his parents. I was in AA for eight years. <laughs> yeah, he knows everything. All my drug shit, I call you. <laughs> hey, man, I'm seeing blue shit. Like, what do I do? You like, you, you right. just cut it's your right. eyes at him. <laughs> you like, you be right. Go talk to somebody. I'm like, both the also, bitches what sleep. Is, what is the cutting of the eyes? The way I cut... You know. It's what I'm doing all the time on accident. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, Trey, don't give me that look. I'm not trying to. I'm trying to be peaceful. Oh, I see. But God fucked me. <laughs> that was the X-Men eye joke? Mm, yeah. No, I mean, I, you know, I trust you to a degree. <laughs> to a degree. But I can't, I can't fold all the way in. You foreign, but you also privileged white. You got a lot of shit working against you with my black trust. <laughs> Yeah, it's like your black trust and your Americanness. Yeah, you're you've got two different kinds of racisms going on, and exactly. they're not in. They're not oh, in Oh, conflicting exactly. isms. Exactly, it's tough, man. It's hard. Meanwhile, I trust you implicitly because you only have one kind of racism. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Gypsy. You got the right gypsy. <laughs> <laughs> and because Trey's not gypsy, he's my friend. <laughs> I, I was just going to say the regular uh, kind. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good old gypsy racism. Nah, I'm probably the, overthinking it. Yeah, cool. it's a little bit. Uh, you got anything coming up this uh, whenever this episode comes out? I don't December know. December 9th. Okay. If this hasn't aired by December 9th, I think freewheeling it's safe. with Radu Bondar. It's free wheeling. Be, yeah. You know where this show uh, originated from? One time I was supposed to do a show with Trey. Mm -hmm. He couldn't make it. I had to get someone else to be the guest host with me. 
and then nobody showed up for the show. Oh, Not that, no audience members whatsoever. I had the concussion. So yes, and I was he like, had a Can you do the interruption for me? And then and for some reason, Scotty, who books the interruption usually, booked like fifteen comics, which is an insane thing to do anyway. Because mm-hmm. he's high. So there's fifteen comedians there performing for no. We just got, oh, all got on the stage and started doing like an impromptu talk show with a piano. Ah. And then I was like, What nice. if we did this for real with people? <laughs> but we're gonna do it at 10 p.m. December 9th on a Sunday. So there might actually be hey. no people again. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Radu Bandar, thanks for sitting in with us. Did you uh, really say you had the concussion interruption? <laughs> oh, God. They don't want no problem. Nah. Music provided by Scarface. Thank you for listening to yet another excellent episode of the Whiskey Brothers Podcast, the world's funniest podcast ever. The Whiskey Brothers Podcast was made in America by Americans, mostly in and around the Houston area. All content copyright the Whiskey Brothers. This concludes our broadcast day. Goodbye.